So the other day I was sitting around listening to my Star Wars 8-track tape when I had an idea. I wanted to be able to listen to something a little bit more modern through my 8-track deck. In fact, what I really wanted to do was play this little tiny micro SD card in my 8-track player. But uh, unfortunately it just doesn't fit anywhere in the front of this player. And uh, in fact, what's on here is digital and what's on an 8-track is analog. So how could I convert this, this tiny little instrument of digital sound into an analog playback? Well, unfortunately it's going to require a little bit of conversion. So the first thing I'm going to need is a modern piece of equipment known as an updated tape player. And here it is, the updated tape player. It has stable speed transmission. You can use as a standalone MP3 player, play MP3 in your car stereo, use as a PC card reader, digital music on your cassette player, and more. Well, that kind of gets me uh, on the right path. Um, but the question is, how do I play a cassette in my 8-track player? Well, anyway, first things first, let's look at the features on this guy, this updated tape player. So here's the first step in my micro SD conversion path. This is the updated tape player. Now this doesn't look like a player at all, does it? It looks like a cassette tape, but it's actually an MP3 player housed within a cassette tape. Let me tell you all the great features this thing has, okay? You can see all the stuff it comes with. You get this charging cable, you get this car charger, house charger, headphones, owner's manual, remote control, and it says it's a portable MP3 player, player MP3 files on car audio. That's exactly how it's read here. Here, I'll let you read it with me. Uh, let's see, or boom box via tape deck, automatic music tile search, tile search, there's tiles on there, automatic playing, repeat player back mode, six navigation buttons, SD MMC card reader, USB 2.0 high speed interface, and supports Windows 2000 and XP. That's exactly what I wanted. And this stuff we kind of went over. Uh, audio files format MP3, bit rate of 32 to 256 kilobits per second, Audio channel stereo, has an internal lithium ion battery, playback time over six hours on charge, and it supports up to eight gig of SD card memory. There you go. So, how does this work? Well, it has a little, uh, has a little on off switch on the side. So when I flip it on, it turns on this way. There we go. Now you can see the little red LED lighting up right there. On the side here you have your plug to attach your USB charger and it's got a little infrared uh, window there and a headphone jack. It's got your uh, navigation controls and uh, volume plus and minus and your EQ button right there to change the, uh, the quality of the audio. So what I would need for my little mini uh, micro SD is I would need a what is this? This is a micro SD trans flash adapter. So I'm going to plug this into the back of the little cassette tape first. So that goes in right there. And then I plug my one gigabyte micro SD card into that. And I'm ready to go. But how do I get the cassette into my 8-track player? Well, I'm going to need an adapter for that. So the final piece of my adaptation is going to require this realistic stereo cassette to 8-track adapter. So what I'm going to do is hit the eject button on that, and I'm going to place my MP3 player, modern tape player thingy into here. If it will fit in there. Let's see, is there something sticking out on the side? Well, there is a power switch on the side there. Well, there it goes. All right, so now that's inside of there. 
So then I place this whole unit inside my 8-track deck. And then I hit play. And grab my remote control. Hit play on there. And we'll see what happens. Okay, perhaps I just need to hit the power button on my remote control. Let's see what that does. And I gotta put it in just the right spot. There it is. So there we go. Now we're listening to music from an SD card through a cassette adapter, through a cassette to 8-track adapter, through an 8-track player, and then ultimately to my waterproof, splash-proof 1x1 speaker over there on the side. What if I want to go to the next song? Well, I can just hit this button right here on the remote. Try again. Isn't this awesome music, by the way? Okay, let's try another song. Well, there are some numbers on here. I'm not sure what these numbers do. Uh... What if I hit three? What does three do? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure why they have numbers on there. How would you access an MP3 track using just numbers based on its name? But, uh, so we got a repeat button on here. We've got a USD button. Got a mute button, mode button. That changes the, uh, well, I'm not sure what that changes, actually, because EQ changes the mode of the music. Let's try that. So there you have it. Now in a short period of time, you've taken an SD memory card and converted it to sound through an 8-track player. Isn't that awesome? And of course, this unit can also be used in a car stereo. In fact, that would probably be the more recommended place for it to be used is in a car stereo. Well, an older car stereo that has just cassette in it, and then you could take this guy out of here and play it back in your vehicle. And like it said on the packaging, you can also just plug a pair of headphones into the side of this cassette and listen to music out of it. It's a miracle of modern technology. So, now you know how to do it. You know how to take your little tiny memory card and convert it to an 8-track for the ultimate in high fidelity. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe, share, and go get you one of these, what do they call it again? Updated tape player. Yeah. Thanks for watching.